The Duchess of Sussex has suppressed her political views and stuck to her prescribed boundaries since she got married to Prince Harry last May. The paper, Meghan's Manifesto, was published by Celebrity Studies, which aims to focus on the critical exploration of celebrity, stardom and fame. The authors of the report, Laura Clancy and Hannah Yeoline, said, while the monarchy appears to be celebrating her diversity and modernizing influence, then, this is only permitted wishing prescribed boundaries. She has quit her acting career, closed down her popular blog and social media accounts for all her online activity to be ciphered through Kensington Palace. Meanwhile, Markle is set to be receiving Duchess lessons from the Queen's advisors to be brought up to speed with protocol and expectations of life with the monarchy the mother to be has fought hard for women's rights gender equality and improved education and health services for girls around the world. Meghan was praised for her speech on feminism and women's suffrage in New Zealand in October on those 125th anniversary of women achieving the right to vote. She also spoke of her approval that New Zealand became the first self-governing country in the world to grant women the right to vote in 1893. During the week of the EU referendum in 2016, she posted a photo on her Instagram of someone holding a pro-EU sign during a protest. Meghan's views could cause issues with the royal family, who normally do not express any political opinions in public. Before President Donald Trump took office, Meghan said she would move to Canada if he ever were to become president. This comes as Meghan's father, Thomas Markle, has made an appeal to get in contact with his daughter. The 74-year-old has told ITV's Good Morning Britain he was being blamed by the Duchess of Sussex. He said, I'm not sure why it's happening, I have been trying to reach out for several weeks, every day I try to text her, but haven't received anything back.